My mythology has many gods. A can is a god of alcoholic beverages. Our Inca is a god of the bees. Shin is a god of homosexual relationships and patron of homosexual prostitutes. Mayans have created gods, bee gods, fish gods, gods of war, suicide, medicine, healing, and a god of earth and many other gods. Like many ancient people, they also believed the underworld was filled with gods and strange creatures. Like nearly every ancient people, including Christians, Pagans, Druids, Hindus, the underworld was associated with death. According to Maya mythology, the underworld also hosted gods. These gods were known as death gods. In the overall tradition of the Lakandan people, there is only one death god. It's called Kissing. This god inhabits an underworld that is also the world of the dead. He is the ruler of the dead. Kissing is one of the many names the Death God is known by among the Lacandans. The Mayan underworld also contains different levels. The Mayan Death God Kissing is sometimes referred to as Apuch, a ruler of Mental or level 9 of the underworld. Mental is the deepest, darkest level of the Mayan underworld. Apuch is said to surface at night as a corpse with an owl's head. He is sometimes called the flatulent one due to the strong odour that accompanies him. He is said to smell like rotten meat.
there are over 250 different Mayan gods, but much of the information on the gods was destroyed by Bishop Diego de Landa in 1562. He burned much of the information in the mass burning of the Mayan books. mythology, Unapu was the son of Unhunapu and Blood Moon and a twin of Exbalank. The twins were Mayan heroes. The story of Unapu and his brother are told in the Papabu. The pair are considered well favoured by the greater Mayan gods and over their lifetimes they had a long career of defeating their enemies through trickery and great powers. The twins were conceived in an unusual fashion. When their mother Blood Moon spoke with the decapitated head of their father Un Unapu, the skull spat upon the maiden's hand. This was an act that caused the twins to be conceived in her womb. Blood Moon sought out on Apu's mother, who begrudgingly took her in after being up a number of trials for Blood Moon to prove her identity. After birth, the twins were not treated well by their grandmother or their older half-brothers. Their grandmother demanded that they be removed from the house due to their consistent screaming and crying. Their older brothers obliged by placing them in unusual places to sleep. Despite the older brothers' jealousy leading to attempts to kill the twins, they failed. In their younger years, the brothers were made to labour going to hunt birds, which they had brought back for meals. The older brothers were giving their food to eat first, in spite of the fact that they would spend all day singing and playing while the younger brothers were working. Onapu and Exbalank would demonstrate their wit at a young age in dealing with their older half-brothers. One day the twins returned from a field without any birds to eat. They were questioned by their older half-brothers. The twins claimed that they had actually shot several birds, but the birds had gotten stuck in a tree and they were unable to retrieve them. The older brothers went to the tree and climbed to get the birds and suddenly the tree began to grow taller at a very fast rate. The older brothers were stuck at the top. This was the first time in which the twins demonstrated supernatural powers over some believed blessings of the greater gods. Unapu then further humiliated his older brothers by instructing them to remove their pants and tie them around their waist in an attempt to climb down. Their pants magically became tails and their older brothers transformed into monkeys. When the grandmother was informed that the older boys were not armed, she demanded that they be allowed to return. When they did return to the house, their grandmother was unable to contain her laughter at their appearance and the brothers run away in shame. The twins are said to have been approached by the god Hurricane, the Mayan god of storms, regarding the dispatching of an arrogant god named Seven Makor. Seven Makor was a trickster that had built up a following of worshippers among some of the inhabitants of Earth. Seven Makor was an arrogant god. He was known to be extremely vain. He decorated himself with metal ornaments in his wings. He had false teeth made of gemstones and he also made claims to be either the sun or the moon. In a first attempt to dispatch the god, the twins attempted to sneak up on him when he was eating a meal in a tree. They shot at his jaw with 
of a blow gun Stephen McCaw was knocked from the tree but only wounded and as Umpanu attempted to escape his arm was ripped off by the god. The blow gun had knocked out the gemstone teeth of Stephen McCaw. The twins invoked a pair of gods disguised as their grandparents. The twins instructed the gods to approach Seven McCaw and the gods shouted for the return of Umpana's arm. In doing so, the gods disguised as grandparents indicated that they were from a poor family. They said that they make a living as doctors and dentists and care for their orphaned grandchildren. Upon even they were dentist, Seven McCaw requested that they fix his teeth knocked loose by the blow gun. In doing so, the grandparents replaced his dual teeth with white corn and plucked the ornaments he had, leaving the god destitute of his former greatest. Having fallen, Seven McCall died.